Hello, welcome to busyping.com. My name is Arun Nair. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable Hyper-V on Windows 8 or 8.1. Now the prerequisite is that you should have the Pro or the Enterprise Edition of 8 or 8.1 and it should be 64-bit. You will not have Hyper-V on the 32-bit editions and you will not have Hyper-V on the Windows 8 a regular edition. You should either have an Enterprise 64-bit or a Pro 64-bit edition. All right, so let's get started. To enable Hyper-V, uh, go to the control panel and here you will have the programs and features and click that and here you will have an option called turn windows features on or off click that and you should see an option called hyper-v so expand that and put a check mark here click ok that is it your hyper-v is enabled now restart your machine and you will have the hyper-v so i'm going to restart the machine and put the video on pause Okay, so now my computer is back on after the restart and uh, while you restart the machine, you may notice that the computer restarts three or four times saying that, you know, it's configuring the Windows features. Uh, that's pretty normal. You don't have to worry about that. So once it's back on, just uh, go to start and type Hyper-V and you will see Hyper-V Manager. Open the Hyper-V Manager. Now here you will see all the Hyper-V servers under Hyper-V Manager inside which you go ahead and create the virtual machines. Now, note that Studio is not a virtual machine. It is the machine which is hosting Hyper-V. So if you have other machines uh, which host Hyper-V, you can manage all those Hyper-V machines from uh, one console. So that's the purpose of Hyper-V Manager. So do not get confused with this with the virtual machine. Now you have to create a virtual machine inside this host. All right, so to create a virtual machine, go to Action, New, Virtual Machine, then click next you can give a name so i'm going to give it a test and if you want to store it in the store the virtual machine in a different location click store virtual machine in a different location and i usually store it in the d drive and uh, here inside this so i go test oops so i can create a folder if i want to and i select this folder select folder next and uh, you can select generation one or generation two uh, basically generation two supports features such as secure boot scuzzy boot and pxc boot you know, using a regular network adapter so i'm gen selecting generation one that is sufficient for me click next and i can give the ram size for this virtual machine so i'm going to give it as 2 gb and click next now network configuration for now i'm going to leave it not connected click next you know, I can name the VHDX file, the, you know, the virtual hard drive file, I can name it anything. But I'm going to leave it as it is and um, I can give a basic size. I'm going to give 20 GB, click next. And I can install an operating system later. So I can select that or if I, if I already have one in my uh, DVD drive, I can select the drive letter or if I have an ISO image, I can select an image and browse and select the ISO image file. For now, I'm going to select install an operating system later. Next. So you will get a summary of the configuration. Click finish. And now it's creating the uh, virtual machine. Basically, it's creating the configuration files and the virtual hard drive for that machine. Now you can see that this virtual machine, this is the virtual machine and this virtual machine is residing inside the host called studio now studio is nothing but my computer which is running this hyper-v right now so if i go to uh, properties i can see that uh, my computer name is studio all right so that is what i initially mentioned that this under hyper-v manager you will not see the virtual machines you will actually see the machines which uh, which are hosting hyper-v inside which you can create the virtual machine so i can have multiple virtual machines inside the studio. I can add another computer on the network and install Hyper-V on that and I can have multiple computer, not multiple virtual machines on that and I can just manage all those Hyper-V hosts and the virtual machines inside those Hyper-V hosts from one single window which is the Hyper-V manager. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.